Canada has pulled out of the 1997 anti-global warming Kyoto Protocol, saying the treaty is not working. The departure comes a day after further climate talks in South Africa led to a new agreement, which is set to replace Kyoto by 2015. Well, let's try and make sense of all of this with Piers Corbyn. He's the founder of the Weather Action Foundation. He joins me now live in London. So Canada withdrew from the treaty, saying it's meaningless without the involvement of the world's two worst polluters, China and the US. But surely Canada's being irresponsible, is it not, by not playing its part in battling climate change? Well, of course, I don't believe in man-made climate change because there is no evidence for it. Uh, in fact, carbon dioxide is controlled by world temperatures rather than the other way around. So, uh, frankly, I'm glad that uh, uh, Canada have left the Kyoto uh, Protocol process and I hope it heralds the collapse of the whole thing. But do you believe there is actually climate change going on, though? Oh, climate change is going on, and the key aspects of the big, uh, very extreme events that happened in the last 18 months were predicted by us at Weather Action using solar activity. Uh, carbon dioxide has zero effect. I repeat, zero effect. No effect whatsoever. They have no evidence for their claims, only evidence against. So this Kyoto agreement, is it a waste of time? And indeed, we see Canada pulling out of it and the treaty is supposed to be continuing until 2017. Do you think other countries will pull out? Well, I think so, and I hope so. Uh, it is a complete waste of time. It's a waste of public money. It's a, uh, a gravy train for so-called scientists looking into things which don't exist, and, of course, for governments to impose taxations and oil companies to increase oil prices on the back of uh, uh, increasing energy prices, which is the thing demanded by the global warmest... Uh, nonsense lobby. Well, I know you and I spoke back in 2009. Um, we the, did, campaign, we did. <laughs> the campaign to prevent climate change then was damaged, wasn't it, severely by those leaked emails from scientists suggesting that That's they right. were manipulating the data. But despite that, well, they are, of course. But uh, we spoke about that two years ago. But still, many governments, yep. many countries, many people are taking this issue seriously, peers. And that's two years on from that. Well, it's delusional nonsense and it's uh, founded on fraud and uh, these people will be called to account eventually. Uh, world opinion is moving against them. People in England are now realising that uh, building prayer wheels, that is wind farms, uh, which are going to increase their electricity bills by 30% and not improve anything for electricity supply, is a nonsense. And, uh, uh, you know, the Liberal Democrats but, in the government in Britain are, are going to suffer as a consequence. But surely, just very briefly and finally, reducing carbon emissions and preventing further deforestation around the world, surely that's got to be a good thing for the world's climate, just briefly. Well, they're different things. Uh, deforestation is a bad thing anyway, and we support uh, um, defending forests. But just as a matter of fact, a mature forest does nothing to reduce CO2 because when, dead tree, when trees die, they rot and the CO2 comes off. But we still support rainforests because of biodiversity. Um, this is just an example of another trick played by the global warmers to uh, pull your heartstrings to make you support uh, delusional nonsense and, uh, and help them on their way on the gravy train. These people should all be removed. The IPC should be closed down and these people put to do some useful work. Piers, I'm expecting a lot of reaction to your comments here on RT. Thanks so much for your Good. thoughts. Piers Corbyn there joining us live. Thank there. you. Thank you. Good to have you on again.